like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. With the rhythm of waves, the deep sea is filled with darkness, wilderness, and giants lurking below the sea floor. But why do such deep sea creatures grow to enormous sizes? Is it some weird occurrence or an extreme behavior that these creatures tend to adopt in a desolate environment? Well, to answer this question, you first need to understand deep sea gigantism. Imagine yourself descending into the depths of the ocean while encountering the very first oceanic zone, the Sunlight Zone. 650 feet below the surface of the water, where the majority of green life exists, with microorganisms being able to do photosynthesis. Next comes the Twilight Zone, at the depths of 3,300 feet below, way beyond the reach of sunlight. Dark and cold, with no concept of photosynthesis happening here. Going further, 13,100 feet deep comes the Midnight Zone, with the only light that can be seen being the glowing bioluminescence from the skins of sea creatures. And with pressure increasing up to 600 times more than that of our terrestrial world, comes the Abyssal Zone, at 19,700 feet down the bottomless pit. But for a fact, life doesn't just stop here. Below this, in the darkest depths of the V-shaped trenches, where creatures are actually evolved to be exceedingly freaky, or sometimes enormously big and terrifying. The deeper you go down the waves, things get weirder. With lack of sunlight and temperatures falling drastically down, pressure tends to increase substantially, resulting in increased cell size and longer lifespan of the deep sea dwellers. And with that being said, lack of food resources and abundance of oxygen plays a significant advantage when it comes to being large in size because of the following two reasons. High energy levels, low metabolism. This means that these gigantic creatures have slower metabolism rates, helping them to conserve more energy. And the fact that these creatures are made to survive in such cold temperatures means they don't need to maintain the body temperature. Instead, they use this same energy to store food in harsh times. Speaking of which, let's take a look at this giant squid comfortably luring below 6,336 feet deep in the water. Compared to the regular squids, which are no more than two feet long in length, the ones surviving in the deepest of the ocean floor are prone to grow up to the humongous length of 43 feet with a whopping weight of 606 pounds. Truly exceptional and iconic, with this tremendous size comes an extremely slow metabolism while taking the Kleber's law to the next level. According to the Kleber's rule, the bigger you are, the more efficient your metabolism, which simply means giant creatures are blessed to have high efficiency with respect to their unimaginably slow metabolism. And that's how biochemistry works for pretty much every organism living on this planet. According to a study, a colossal squid only needs 45 calories to burn each day with around 0.06 pounds of food requirement per day. And with water getting colder, denser, and heavier, there is this terrifying giant of all, the Greenland sharks, and one of the largest fish in the Arctic. Measuring up to 23 feet in size, it can reach the weight of around 3,086 pounds. And like I said, with how things get weirder as you go down, comes the Bergman's Rule, according to which animals have smaller surface area to volume ratio than smaller animals, hence they radiate less heat, thereby keeping themselves warm even in colder environments. In case of deep sea gigantism, Bergman's Rule says that lowering the temperature is what tends to increase the cell size and life expectancy of these deep sea creatures and no doubt to why Greenland sharks like to enjoy dwelling at the depths of over 6,562 feet below, where the temperature drops to minus two to minus seven degrees Celsius. The incredible shark is one of its kind, able to sustain such low temperatures for 500 years, which pretty much contributes to how and why this living fossil became so huge and tremendously big in size. The next underwater giant is going to be this enigma of the ocean, 
the red jellyfish, captured at the depths of around 7,200 feet, with the doom diameter of around 3.3 feet, and tentacles reaching up to 33 feet. Fascinating, elegant, and mysteriously big. We all know for a fact that only 5% of the body of a jellyfish is composed of solid mass. The rest is just water, which leads us to another fact stating, as the pressure increases, gases compress. Well, with pressure rising high up to a thousand times more than that of the atmosphere, there are no air gaps left, and these creatures are mostly water-based, and water is incompressible. Hence, with pressure increasing about one atmosphere for every 33 feet of water depth, it doesn't contribute to crushing these deep-sea monsters. But in case this same creature accidentally tends to go up, they can swell up or even explode. For instance, a blobfish living 2,000 to 3,000 feet inside the oceanic bed looks like a regular fish, except when it comes to the surface. With no more pressure applied to hold its soft body intact, it turns into a creepy, swelled-up blob. Now, with animals changing exceptionally in size, here come the giant isopods, who can live for years without having a proper meal. But while the majority of the isopods are around 0.5 feet long, the giant ones can grow up to 1.67 to 2.5 feet in length. Well, there's a reason why these animals living under the deepest of the oceans evolve drastically fast. According to a fact, animals underwater took around 3 million generations to evolve than animals on land, who took around 24 million generations. Also, the largest ocean-going animals are larger than any of the land animals that ever lived. For example, whales and elephants. This is because of the buoyancy of an aquatic animal, allowing it to feel lighter in water. Again, take an example of a whale, whose organs will probably be crushed down by its own weight on land. But due to buoyancy, the weight of an animal is efficiently dispersed underwater, hence allowing them to gain more weight, thereby getting enormously big in size. Back to the isopods. These scavengers can eat anything dropped down from the upper layers of the ocean. Not just that, they eat non-stop, so much so that they even get swelled up, finding it hard to move. And to test this exact behavior, in February 2019, scientists dropped an alligator to the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico at a depth of around 6,600 feet. Turns out, it took these creepy crawlies just half a day to get into the thick skin of this beast. Moving on, during a deep-sea expedition, a sponge the size of a minivan was found in 2015 in Hawaii. Measuring up to 11 by 7 feet and thought to be 2,300 years old, actually, these giant sponges are pretty common and can be found in any ocean around the world. While the smallest ones can be measured around 0.58 feet long in size, these enormously big sponges are found 7,000 feet deep in the ocean. Owing to the fact that deep in the ocean, animals need to carry more oxygen, so their bodies can become bigger in size. This oxygen comes from the surface layers of the ocean, which through diffusion and brisk circulation reaches to the sea floor, while supplying oxygen to deep sea life. In 1999, scientists claimed that the maximum potential size of a creature is directly proportional to increased levels of oxygen dissolved in deeper water. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. Today's subscriber pick is a picture of this giant Japanese spider crab crawling deep into the depths of 1,640 feet on the ocean floor. The largest of all spider crabs, these giant spider crabs are measured to be extending up to 12.5 feet from claw to another, and weighing up to 44 pounds. While most spider crabs have particularly lower lifespan, this one is gifted with the ability to live to be over 100 years old, which leads us to our next factor, that is, safety. Turns out living far from most of the other living beings has its own perks. The relatively slow pace of life means these spider crabs don't chase down their prey in combat. Instead, 
They sit and wait patiently for the prey to cross their path. Well, this opportunistic lifestyle makes sense, because deep in the waters, with almost zero visibility to no visibility, it's impossible to find prey on a regular basis. And also, with bumpy legs, spider crabs aren't great hunters. They like to stick to algae, making them an inactive predator. This also helps when it comes to being under attack by any potential prey. Moreover, deep down in the ocean, there's nothing to worry about with potential storms or any such natural disasters, making it a perfect environment for these creatures. This sums up to the last factor, playing a rather very significant role in deep sea gigantism. And with the deep sea waters forming a world of their own, even scientists are not sure how these evolutionary mechanisms work. From growing to the size of a school bus to the terrifyingly big lengths of a spaceship, these creatures have taken the art of surviving in harsh conditions to the next level, mostly due to the two key factors. Low temperature, which lets the creature slow down its metabolism, and high oxygen levels, which allow cells to grow beyond the normal limits like with dinosaurs. According to studies, the very first species of dinosaur were pretty smaller in size compared to those which evolved after the oxygen levels in the atmosphere increased to around 15 to 19 percent. Also, as per the scientists, it was this oxygen that let the dinosaurs grow big enough to transform into gigantic monsters. While these are just two of the factors, the rest are just the bonus that comes complimentary with the whole package. See you next time!